Dalaran has historically been known as a city of tall, glimmering spires, bizarre levitating structures, and a mystical ambience, which is visually represented by inscripted blue runes and a glowing violet radiance which seemingly emanates from within the very bedrock on which the city is built. Though its past is shrouded in conflict, Dalaran has stood as a guiding light of solidarity between all free people. She exemplifies the resilience of civilization against chaos and barbarity. Her magic represents the enduring power of hope to inspire and even restore in the face of overwhelming adversity. Dalaran was the capital of the Majocratic nation of the same name. Over the ages, the inner city's fortress, known as the Violet Citadel, served as the focal point for Alliance Magi of all races and skill levels to study the arcane under the tutorship of Dalaran's rulers. This society was the Kirin Tor, and they were valued by the Alliance, not just for flashy abilities, but for their education, knowledge, and ancient wisdom. By the time of the Third War, most contemporary human and high elven mages both bowed to the sovereignty of the Kirin Tor and Dalaran. However, the plague of undeath and subsequent siege of Dalaran by the Scourge forced much of the Dalaranian people to flee their kingdom or else be forced to look on in terror as their ancient home was ravaged by disease and war. The outskirts of Dalaran was the location of the greater demon Archimonde's summoning, with the city's defenders weakened by the Scourge and magical shields depleted. Archimonde was able to obliterate the city in a matter of mere moments, leaving only the broken remnants of its magnificent architecture and scattering the few survivors across the devastated continent. For a time, this was how Dalaran was known to the world. A broken mess of ruined towers, cast perpetually in shadow, and inhabited only by hordes of rampaging demons and lingering undead. It was during these dark times that a rogue demon hunter held a portion of Dalaran, siphoning the powers of the now dead magi through a powerful demonic artifact. This was Illidan's failed attempt to destroy the entire continent of Northrend and the source of the undead scourge, showcasing the potent corruption of this once great city and the persistent arcane power still pulsing behind its shattered walls. Several attempts were made to reclaim the city ruins by survivors of the Lordaeron Alliance. And while they did manage to briefly hold several key districts and its dungeons, none were able to come close to restoring the brilliance by which Dalaran was once known, each campaign ending in outright disaster or devolving into infighting between the remaining elvish and human commanders. It wasn't until the undead plague finally began to slow its crawl over the map of the world and the alliance of Lordaeron irrevocably shattered that the Kirin Tor returned to Dalaran. Now, under the leadership of Archmage Ronan, they reconstructed the powerful magical barrier over the city and retook the surrounding camps, getting to work on cleansing the twisted mess which had once been the seat of their power. Under this newer, stronger, impenetrable dome, the Kirin Tor managed to reconstruct Dalaran in secret even as their enemies gathered around them outside, unable to pierce the veil of such an opaque magical shield. The Kirin Tor worked tirelessly and took heavy casualties from both external attacks outside the barrier and the horrors which lurked within. But after years of struggle, Dalaran was finally restored to its former glory, and Archmage Ronan ordered that the city be magically floated into the sky so that no ground assault by the undead could ever reach them again. The nation, since, became one of the foremost forces standing against the threats posed to Azeroth's survival, with Dalaran serving as a neutral ground 
where the heroes of every kingdom could join together against their mutual foe. A place where all were welcome, no matter ancestry or creed. As long as they stood together, as brothers against the endless dark. From the icy clutches of Northrend, to the demon-infested shores of the Broken Isles, and even the underground continent of Kaz Algar, Dalaran has appeared wherever she is demanded most, a great beacon in the sky to remind those fighting across the world that help is never too far out of reach, that no war cannot be won, and that no defeat, however insurmountable it may seem, means the end. Dalaran proves that even as men fall to darkness and kingdoms fade, hope cannot be destroyed, as long as there are those who are willing to pick themselves up and shine bright once again.